Hey, it's me, your friendly Cabbage Overlord, aka Harry is Beast here, and welcome to this week's Hysteria Patch Notes for December 5th, 2018, Alpha Patch 1.1. First up, extra ability info has been added so players can better understand the stats behind each move. You can see this easily by hovering over an ability in your book. On a more consumable side of things, let's talk about scrolls, runes, and potions. 100% armor scrolls are now applicable to headgear, 70% scrolls have been toned down to make the use of 100% more understandable, and 10% scrolls have been split up into four categories, strength, intelligence, dexterity, and vitality, as we've seen a bunch of times before. Stat potions have been buffed to increase the set stat by 7 instead of 3. Potions now curve differently to your level, and a cooldown has been added to their consumption. However, there's no timer displaying the time left until you can use another, so Valve, please fix. In addition, we see a new item coming into the game, runes. No, no, Vesteria won't have a skill called runecrafting, hopefully. They actually are here to help with movement. We've been waiting for them to publicly make up their mind on whether Vesteria will be a teleport or movement-based game, and now we have our answer. This works well with their pseudo-open-world style, and I'm happy to finally have this in. But this isn't about me. What are runes? Obtainable when choosing your class at level 10 or at the Colosseum Shopkeeper, you can use these runes to teleport to their select part of the map. Up next, goblins have been added to the Enchanted Forest as a low tier level 9 monster to spice things up for lower level players that are just starting the game. They are a neat find for any low level that might come across the forest while exploring, but has no end game interest. Lastly, a few items have come into the game. Some were already mentioned, but this includes four different teleport runes, the Spider Fang Dagger, Goblin Necklaces, the Apprentice Robe Set, and the Magus Robe Set. With this comes some changes for mages. The mage's zap ability is now fully functional, magic bomb is now aimable, and has an increased blast radius the longer it's in the air, and the blink ability leaves particles behind. So get that new mage gear, and get grinding. For more information, go to the forum link in the description. I'm your friendly Cabbage Overlord, and thanks so much for watching.